made it finally found finally made it so last time i picked up this camera and talked to y'all i had picked up this load and said i was going to the to the um, to the scale to the loves that was right up the way and i was gonna rest there for a little while long story short i lied i went to the scale but after i scaled got my axles all good and shit i uh i decided to keep pushing i got a second win about myself i wasn't as tired as i thought i was once i got out the truck and you know stretched my legs and got a breather so i drove what about four more hours three and a half four hours until i couldn't drive no more Driving and driving till I just couldn't drive no more. Um, I pulled over at like five o'clock this morning, six o'clock this morning. Nope, it was closer to six because I set my alarm for like two hours and um, I got up at like eight to make it here by noon that's when i told him i'll be here it is now 11 no about 12 30. they rescheduled my appointment to one o'clock they rescheduled my appointment to one o'clock but i got here a little bit earlier just a little bit just a little bit Thanks for tuning in, fam. Long ass trip. Only got like what? Driving left for the day. 14 minutes. Work day left, an hour 26 minutes. So yeah, I pushed it to the wire. I didn't have like a, you know a full clock because of my recap so and all, but I was able to get here and I don't have to pick up the next load until 12 noon tomorrow. So I'll definitely be able to get some rest. Stay tuned though. I'll be back. Yeah, I'm not sure if I talked about it yesterday. I think I did, but they're gonna be in for a rude awakening. I ain't even gonna lie because I'm about to start declining these loads that's that's gonna be too close to my sleep schedule. I bite the bullet every now and then, but it's starting to get more more often. So I had to draw the line in the sand. I can't go. It's not healthy and it's not safe. Shit, trying to trying to push it to earn money, although we tired and shit. You know what I mean, that ain't good. Hey, it is what it is. Three more sets to go. I'm on day, well, what's today? Thursday? So I'm on day four. Getting back to my healthy. I gotta get out of my brain, man. Stop using this bullshit to stop me from working on my goals. I'm back at it. Thanks for tuning in, man. This vlog on YouTube. It's beautiful out here, bro. Beautiful day. Clear skies. Almost 60 degrees. Just with a t-shirt on. And I feel good. Anyway, check back in with y'all later. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. Got me situated. Let's go make sure they ain't leave nothing back there. And I need to see the fuel level too. 
almost full of I call that seven eighths. Good. That's not my low bar neither. So yeah, man, I'm gonna look it up. It's a love's not too far away. My next load is actually 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, and I'm less than an hour away. So that's good. That's yeah, real good because, as you know, I ain't got no time on my clock. <laughs> And this is the load that's gonna take me to the crib. Oh, it would be nice to be able to get a little closer. Damn. God damn. Give me a minute, fam. I'll pull this back out when I make it to the truck stop. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for rocking with your boy. Peace. It's hours later. It's hours later. As you see, it's dark outside. It's dark, yeah, man. I stepped it up. I stepped my game up and got me a trucker outfit. Know what I mean? Uh, what you call it? A trucker starter kit going on. You feel me? <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to end this vlog like this, man. Um, I'm about... 15 miles or so away from where I just dropped off at. And I made a pilot. I made a truck stop. And this pilot, I don't know the name of Man, I gotta get better at getting names because it's a restaurant right on over here. And they got some piece of cobbler that's off the motherfucking hook, bro. Straight up. But anyway, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm chilling here until I get my 10 hour reset. Then I get on the road in the morning. I need to be there by 8 a.m. Um, it is a dropping hook, and I'm taking it to Memphis, so I'm heading to the crib. Uh, what else? I think it was something else I wanted to talk about, but um, I don't remember what it was. What was it? I know I was supposed to be getting a, a trailer wash out, but I reached out to the squad, and they said that I don't need to do it because they got that type of shit on, uh, on premises, along with parking. So I'm, I'm good to go. Um, damn, it was something else. Oh, I remember now. There's a reason why I be buying these, fam. There's a reason why I buy a gallon of water and not those little, uh, those little regular water bottles. Reason being, if you think anything like me, man, you a grown ass man, dog. Yo, yo, how can I put this? You ain't fitting in no little water bottle to go pee. And if you're a grown ass man, dog, I'm pretty sure you peeing more than that little bottle can hold. So that's why I like the twist off cap gallon bottles. I do the pop off caps too. If I have to, if that's all they got, but I like the twist offs. Because obviously these trucks ain't that smooth, so if they fall over, you don't want to get pee everywhere. So I just wanted to get that little tip, man. I've been, I've been had that on my mind and add into a video somewhere so, along the way for a long time now. Um, so yeah, ladies, for all the lady truckers out there, or ladies that's on the road a lot, how do y'all pee? Do you gotta stop? Like, 
do you gotta stop at a truck stop every time or a rest stop or something or do you have a contraption that allows you to pee in bottles because i do know we got uh we got extensions as men that help us but um yeah those little water bottles man i be seeing them all over the truck stops like all on the ground people throw them out the window and shit i don't understand like how even how you even pee in that and not pee everywhere in your truck y'all probably y'all y'all the people that do that y'all probably the uh, motherfuckers that the ladies be talking about they made songs about y'all but yeah i ain't going i can't i can't do it for one let's let's rewind for one i can't even drink with those little bitty bottle of water man because i finished one of those in one two gulps and then on two it don't hold enough pee for when I gotta get rid of the water that I just drank. And for three, in no particular order, my thing ain't fitting in the bottle to be able to pee real good and comfortable without putting pee all over the truck. So anyway, I digress. I know, <laughs> I know this is a lot more graphic in, at least in my thoughts, it's a lot more graphic than uh, I kind of want to finish the vlog off with, but hey, this is the realest vlog on YouTube. Find one realer. Tag me in it. I ain't seen one yet. Come back tomorrow. Um, we pick up a load. We do a dropping hook. We dropping this empty, picking up a load, and then we're going to head to Memphis. I will not be able to make it to Memphis tomorrow because that trip is over 700 something miles, and I'm, a, I'm already like 50 something miles away, so I won't have enough time to do it all tomorrow, but I can put a big chunk in. Come back, follow the journey. Hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell if you new, because I drop these videos damn near every day. Not every day, but damn near. As consistent as your favorite YouTuber, if not more consistent, word is bond. <laughs>